I am lucky to have many inspirational women in my life, but today I'm focusing on one, my grandma. She was born on August 26, 1924. That makes her 95 years old. I've often told her that she should write about the book, The Life She's Lived. She lived through the Great Depression and World War II. To this day, she cannot eat eggs because that's all she had to eat for years. At age 19, she lost her father. My grandpa and her went on to farm in Iowa. They had seven children and over the years lost five of them. She lost her brother, her sister, her mother, and her stepdad. After 52 years of marriage, she buried my grandpa. She even lost a granddaughter she raised and a great-grandson. Death and grief has indeed been her cross to bear. I have always thought to bury one child would be an insurmountable experience, but to bury five is more than anyone should ever have to endure. When I ask her how she's continued on, she just says, the sun comes up every, every day and you have to get up with it. Life goes on. She credits God for getting her through all of her dark days. After my grandpa passed, grandma quickly learned the art of custom farming and within a few short years paid off the master note on the land they owned, ensuring a comfortable financial retirement for herself. She's a very smart lady. Now, at 95, she's battling this latest crisis, living in an assisted living facility where visitors are not allowed. She handles it with grace and understanding, not bitterness and resentfulness. For all these reasons, Grandma is my inspiration. I know that with 25% of her blood running in me, it is more than enough to handle any storm that comes my way. Her faith, strength, tenacity, fortitude, and sense of humor is beyond human at times, and I am blessed to know her and to be able to learn from her.